It's time now for a little at in local sports. In sports, Atlanta Braves split the four-game series in Pittsburgh as the Pirates win the Thursday day game by a final score of 7-5. Braves in New York City take on the Mets this weekend. Game time tonight, first pitch 7-10. Braves just playing 500 balls since the All-Star break, but still lead the division by 10 full games over the Phillies. Mets are 20 games out and are in fourth place in the division. Yesterday, Matt Olson, the hometown kid from Parkview High School, hit his 40th home run of the season. Varsity girls softball team lost 2-0 yesterday at Bacon County. Ada Sluter pitched six innings that allowed no runs, no earned runs, and no walks. Lady Jackets offense shut down by the Bacon pitcher as Wayne held to just two hits in yesterday's game. Team heads to Baxley on Tuesday to take on the Upton County Pirates. Game time Tuesday, 6 p.m. Next home game and broadcast Thursday, August 17th when Camden County comes to town. Game time Thursday, 5:30. Our pregame Thursday begin at 5:20. Middle school softball, Martha Puckett defeated Bethune Middle School 15-0 in just three innings. Joe Anderson tossed a complete game one hitter. Several ladies had a nice day at the plate. Martha Puckett again 15-0 in just three innings over Bethune Middle. Girls volleyball team started their season yesterday on the road at Brantley County. Varsity team defeats Brantley 2-1, but lost the match to Pierce County 2-zip. JV beat Brantley 2-1. Home matches both Tuesday and Thursday next week for the volleyball girls. Tuesday, they host Long and Vidalia. Thursday, they host Bryan and McIntosh. And the cross-country team gets their season underway this Saturday. They're in Hazelhurst tomorrow morning for the big Peach State preview. That race gets underway tomorrow in Hazelhurst at 8.30 in the morning. We're just a week away from high school football. Jackets open the season next Friday night at J.C. Stadium. They'll host the Bradwell Institute Tigers. Tonight's the Wayne County Touchdown Club's annual barbecue kickoff. That's set for 6 p.m. at the high school commons area. Tickets are $15 tonight, sold at the door. And hit football coach Jay Boshaw will speak and introduce the coaches and players. Everyone's invited to attend. That's tonight at the high school commons area. Again, 6 p.m. is the time. First meeting of the touchdown club set for this Tuesday night, 7 o'clock at Altamont Steak and Seafood Restaurant. Everyone invited to join. That's Tuesday again, 7 o'clock at the Altamont Steak and Seafood Restaurant. George High School Association has released their preseason all-state teams in all classifications. And in 4A football, Wayne County's Matthew Fuller and Tavion Wallace were both named to the preseason all-state team. Fuller, a senior committed to South Carolina, was named by GHSA as the best overall player this year in Class 4A football. Again, Tavion Wallace, just a junior this year for Wayne County, continues to receive offers from every college across the country. Already had offers from LSU, Ohio State, and just about every SEC team in the country. Yesterday, the Georgia Bulldogs came calling and made an official offer, so Tavion's offers continue to roll in. Again, he's just a junior this year. He'll be playing linebacker and receiver this year. For the Wayne County Yellow Jackets, his older brother, Trevin, gets ready for his junior year at the University of Kentucky. NFL preseason games underway. The Falcons are at Miami this evening. The Jaguars are in Dallas Saturday for a 5 p.m. kickoff. Tomorrow night, the Chargers take on the Rams in Los Angeles. And Stetson Ben expect to see some playing time for the Rams in preseason game. Both five Ben and Francis Jurgen flew out to L.A. to watch the Mailman this Saturday night in L.A. We wish some safe travels. Hope they enjoy the game. But the Mailman's first NFL preseason game set for this Saturday night as the Rams take on the Chargers. That's going to do it for latest in local sports.